And I, and I think, again, going back to what I said before about sort of being a bit, or recognizing that this is still an ongoing process, um, I think there is an element of, I, I, I think we all need to be together and, and have some rules around when people are in and when they're not, but obviously with some flexibility, because uh, as we all know, things happen. Um, but um, but and not being afraid to have those parameters in place, but then listening to people as you go along. I mean, it sounds like you're kind of doing both, but I think that's really important because as a business, you, you do need to come together. Like our, obviously, our team is a lot smaller than, than, than Julie's, but even with that, you know, we still have people that are wired very differently, you know, somebody who's a designer to a copywriter and then a strategist, you know, and we all operate in different ways. And I think it's being clear about and, and have some structure around where certain, ter certain types of work happen. So, you know, trying to do more of the meeting and getting together when you're in the office. It sounds obvious, but it's not actually that obvious in, in, in terms of how it plays out. You know, people still come in and try and do the deep work because that's just how it's fallen. Because obviously the clients don't always, you know, they don't always plan it the way that you planned it. <laughs> you know, they give you the work and the deadline changes and all of a sudden you find that you're doing that on a day where we're all meant to be together. So, um, yeah, I, I, I think it's, flexibility is important, but it's having some kind of parameters uh, around it. And I think it will take, I think it will take time to get to a place where that it all feels really normal and natural in a way that I don't think it does yet. Yeah, and I think that's the thing is that we've got to give ourselves time and, and more, perhaps more importantly, sometimes in certain organisations, that middle, you know, the middle managers or the, t or the team leaders, we've got to give them A, and this is a big one for me, I bash my drum on this, even though it feels sometimes that we're, I've sometimes I've kind of railed against that middle management. I actually don't think we've given them the tools and the technology and the time to, to do their bit. You know, 90% of them don't think they've got the time to do their job properly. Well, most of the time they've been recruited because they were good at their job, but not good as managers. And actually the span of control and the number of people in a team really does have an impact upon how it feels to work there. So I think if we could all start uh, recognising that teams are important, it's really important that we do. And then and then honour those differences in the teams. And then the third thing is that leadership behaviour and really understanding how to do that behaviour. And I think in this VUCA world, volatile, uncertain, complex, ambiguous world, um, it can feel a bit bewildering for, for leaders. So we can learn to do all of those things, but it's also really powerful when we're doing the things that cost us the least amount of energy understanding ourselves understanding each other listening learning spending time together and i definitely think the key learning for me from this session is more coffee more cake and that's really important isn't it?